Um, thank you for coming, everybody. I'm going to call this meeting to order Wednesday, August 3rd. This is the virtual meeting of the License Commission. Um, present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, Helen Kahn, and Jennifer Ewers. Uh, this meeting is being recorded. And do we have anybody here for public comment? Not seeing any public comment. We will move on to agenda item number three. The application for a change of manager on an annual all alcohol general on premise license. Do we have the folks from Look Park here? I see Angela. She's up first. Hi. Okay. Hi, Angela, Angela. Director of Garden House. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Busy season. Great. I bet it is. Okay, so this is for the application for a change manager on an annual all alcohol general on premise license for Frank Newhall Look Memorial Park incorporated DBA garden house at Look Park at 300 Main Street in Florence and the proposed manager is Angela Otis. And Angela, do you want to just tell us a little bit about what's happening. Uh, sure. Uh, we have a little change of uh, activity here at the mm -hmm. park in terms of uh, positions. And so I've been the uh, director of the garden house and I'm going to continue to be the director of the garden house uh, manager. So just looking to have my uh, name straightened through the commission um, on the liquor license. Okay, that makes sense. Does anybody have any questions for Angela? No questions. Great. Well, all of the paperwork is in order, Angela. So um, I will go ahead and make a motion to approve the application for the change of manager on the uh, annual all alcohol general on premise license. Second. All in favor. Oh, sorry, Annie, you do that. Um, and yep, Natasha. Yes. Helen. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Thank you, Angela. Yes, and then you'll, uh, or the commission will send uh, a new license that I post with my name on it next. Yes, yeah, so Angela, tomorrow I'll send the application to the ABCC. Yeah. And then once they've approved it, I will um, get the approval documents and I will send you a revised license. Okay. All right, good. Thanks for your help today. I'm going to log off. All right. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Item number four. Application for change of manager on a seasonal wine and malt general on-premise license, again for Frank Newhall Look Memorial Park, incorporated DBA Pines Theater, 300 Main Street in Florence, and the proposed manager is Sebastian Ross. Is Sebastian here? Hello. Hello, how are you? Well, how are you doing? Good. Do you want to let us know what you are up to? Yeah, so as I just did a little bit of change in management, um person whose name the license currently sits under is leaving the park so just transferring the licenses over the proper managers so i've been overseeing the concerts at the pines for a couple of years now so just trying to get all of her, everything in order does anybody have questions for sebastian no i don't no, no okay thanks yeah so all your paperwork's in order sebastian so thank you great and um, Helen, do you want to make the motion? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a change of manager on a seasonal wine and malt general on-premise license as detailed in item four of the agenda. I will second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Thank you, Sebastian. Great, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Okay, item number five, applications for short-term liquor licenses. Building 8 Brewing, 320 Riverside Drive. This is for live music at Bombix, 130 Pine Street in Florence, a wine and malt license for the following dates. Saturday, October, August 6th from 6 to 11. Sunday, August 7th from 5 to 11. And Saturday, September 3rd from 6 to 11. And I see we have O'Brien. Hello, I have one question, I guess for you and Annie, there's, looks like there's an extra application for the August 31st, is that oh, not? Yes, that was in one of my frantic emails. So August 31st is, I took that off the agenda. Okay. And then we added the September 3rd date. Okay, great. 
taking off the 31st, adding the third. Okay, perfect. So, O'Brien, you just want to let us know any changes? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, just to clarify that 31st, uh, I had reached out to the folks at Bombix about the uh, – uh, the amount of necessity it was to have me at whatever shows. And uh, I saw the 31st, there was going to be a food component. So I thought they would want me. And then uh, got back to me <laughs> a few days later saying not the 31st, but the third. So that's why that's changed. Uh, no, we're, you set up in the, um, in an alternate room uh, on the uh, seventh, that Sunday, it's sort of more of a fundraiser, triple band sort of thing. Neftali's doing a um, taco pop-up. Uh, so it's always better for me to have a food component when mm -hmm. we're doing that. I provide, you know, I always bring chips or something for people because I like and, and NA beverages, but it's uh, it's much better for me and and proper alcohol service to be able to have a food component there. And uh, no one's really drinking anyway. Who am I kidding? But uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, same sort of setup, tip certified. Uh, there's an intermission and uh, in between two of the bands, I believe. So there's two intermissions on one of the nights and. That's about it. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Jennifer and Helen, do you guys have any questions? Nope. Sounds like the same stuff you've been doing. So keep yeah. it up. <laughs> and I will make a motion. Uh, oh, before you make your motion, I would also like to just extend everybody that uh, we did have a, a great weekend with the ALS uh, that I received a permit for last session. Uh, we're going to make about an $1,800 donation to the uh, ALS for ALS fund. And uh, we had a really great turnout. The families that were involved were very, very pleased. And uh, we were a full house most of the day on Saturday. A little sluggish on Sunday, but still, you know, everything worked out great. Uh, no incidents. Everybody was really delighted. And uh, that beer goes out to retail this week. Uh, so uh, we've already had about 30 accounts who were picking it up and taking it. So uh, it was a really great event. And, uh, you know, everybody kind of pulled together, which is just what those things are for. So mm -hmm. anyway, on that note, sorry, but I just want no, to that's, that, that's so. okay. No, I'm, I'm glad for the update. I'm glad it was a good event. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, so I'll make a motion then to approve the applications for short-term liquor licenses as outlined in agenda item number five. Second. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. All right. Next up, we have a very exciting agenda item. Number six, application for a short-term liquor license for the Downtown Northampton Association on Main Street from Old South Street to King and Pleasant on Saturday, September 10th from 10 to 9 p.m. And this is for the Taste of Northampton, and you are seeking a wine and malt license with a requested fee waiver. Hello, Amy. Hello, Natasha. You are up. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. This is really exciting to see this event on the agenda. I think it's really exciting 98% of the time, and the other two is sheer terror. But <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go with exciting for tonight. You wouldn't be um, do you want me to just... street without a small amount of sheer terror, so it's okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to let us know a little bit about the event? Sure. So we are closing Main Street from Old South to King. Both Old South and King will be open. We will be having tented restaurant food in the parking spaces on either side of Main Street. Um, we'll be having live music and family-friendly entertainment. We're co-producing this with the city of Northampton. Um, and it's coming about now because the city received a grant from the state to provide um, some funding to support it. So we are using that grant funding to provide um, as much infrastructure as we can for the restaurant. So tents, rented equipment, um, porta potties, whatever else one might need to put on the taste. It will be smaller in scale than prior taste. Um, and no tokens. We're trying to keep it very um, as simple and straightforward as we can and as easy for folks to participate. Um, specifically with respect to the liquor, we are planning on um, cordoning off the entire area. So both sides will be um, impossible to exit because they will be filled with tents. Um, then the top and bottom or the, um, the two sides that are open to Main Street. We will rope off and have entrances on either side staffed with tables with people who will card everyone as they come in and will wristband people so that you don't have to worry about um, carding folks when they're selling the alcohol. And then we're, we offered 
um, all of the five local businesses that have the distributor license, so Building 8, Progression, Artifact Cider, Mineral Hill Winery, and Drawing Board Brewing Company, the opportunity to each have a presence to sell um, beer and wine and cider there. Four out of the five, everybody except Drawing Board, um, is on board to participate. Artifact and Mineral Hill, will, we're still working out um, staffing and logistics a bit. O'Brien has already been in touch with Drew at Progression. They've sorted out. They're going to offer two different size pours, if I understand correctly, pints and half pints with um, the same pricing at each of their spots, um, tip certified, all of the things. Great. Questions? And the event is running, I think you said this, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. 11, okay. We have, just for the purposes of the upcoming motion, we have 10 to 9 on the agenda, but it's 11 to 8. I, well, I um, actually did that for setup and breakdown. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, any questions from Jennifer or Helen? No, it sounds great. Oh, looking forward to it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. That'll be fun. Um, then do we need to discuss the fee waiver or just include it? <laughs> I think okay, include it. We need to. Yeah, I do have a question. So there's I mean, the liquor I liability is still pending, right? Yes. Okay. So if you can approve it contingent yep. on that. Yep. And we're requesting a waiver just because the um, majority of the other city departments who are doing inspections and so forth are waiving permitting fees and the like, um, just because we're trying to use as many dollars as we can to support the event infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, do any of the other commissioners have any issues with the fee waiver? No, I just didn't know if we should discuss it, but yeah. I mean, I'm all for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's discuss the fact that I'm for it. All right. Excellent. All right, then. Thank you. Anything else? I will um, move to approve the application for the short-term liquor license as outlined in agenda item number six. Um, including the requested fee waiver contingent upon receiving the liquor liability. Second. Um, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Excellent. Um, Annie, I'm gonna bump up new business now so, so Amy doesn't have to stick around. Um, new business, we have an application for short-term liquor license for the Downtown Northampton Association for Arts Night Out at Pinch at 179 Main Street on August 12th from 5 to 8 p.m. And this is for wine and malt. Yes. Yeah. So I will be coming back to you in September. Um, Pre-COVID, we came every year and we were given a blanket liquor license for all of the Arts Night Out venues for the year um, with a waiver of the TIPS certificate tips requirements and the distributor requirements um, and the insurance requirements. We stopped doing that um, basically when COVID happened and nobody wanted to get together in a small space and share food and drink. Um, but now as venues are starting to come out of that, um, mm -hmm. we would like to get that up and rolling. Um, the reason why I'm coming this month for Pinch is in August, we are doing a special arts night out in collaboration with the Northampton Jazz Festival where we have jazz mm -hmm. music at four venues. Um, one of which is Pinch. The other three, one is Resonate, one is The Roost, which can already serve, and one is Rebecca Brooks, which has um, very tight staffing and needs to close a little bit early. So it's really Pinch, who is also going to be hosting a jeweler who would like to have um, like wine and cheese. Sure. And so I said that I would try and um, see if I could make that happen for them this month, and then I'll come back to you next month with the regular slate of everybody for a full year. Okay, that sounds great. It's nice to have that back again. Feels more normal. Yeah. Then I will approve the application for the short-term liquor license for the Downtown Northampton Association August 12th uh, Arts Night Out. I'll second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Super. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Amy. Hey, thank you so much. Welcome thank aboard, you, Amy. Jennifer. Thank you so much. All right, clerk's update. Yes, so the um, remote meeting provision is extended to 2023. Um, and then I did find out about the hybrid um, meetings that you guys had um, 
you just wanted to know what who needed to be present for hybrid was it just was did commissioners have to be present or was it just the public that was allowed to be hybrid or remote so um in in order if we did a remote meeting a quorum of the commission would need to be present so two people would need to be present one person could be remote mm -hmm. okay I am. Ha I mean, I think I mentioned this last time. We don't have to make any decisions about this, but um, I am happy to be present for meetings if the structure is helpful for other people. Um, but I'm also, if hybrid is the way to go, if Jennifer and Helen, if that if being in person doesn't work for your schedules, then that's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, currently with my schedule, it's hard to yeah get here at four, and yeah. <laughs> that great lighting. Yeah. Um, but then that change is part of the year too. But anyway, right. for, the, for the present time, okay, it's better for me to rush home and yeah, do my thing. <laughs> Jennifer, yeah. do you have any thoughts? Uh, I definitely think there are pros to both. Right? It would be nice to meet again in person, but it's for scheduling purposes. It remote is is easier for me. It's okay. easier for my family. Yep. But either way, I'll make it work. Well, we'll carry on then remote for the time being. All right, no need to change. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm letting you down. I know. No, I know. you're not letting me down at all. It's, it's totally okay. Totally. Okay. Um, all right, anything else on that, Annie? Um, no. Okay. Approval of minutes, July 6th. Would somebody like to make a motion for that? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of July 6th, 2022. I will second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Any other new business? I do, yes, have one thing. I got a call maybe 45 minutes ago from Hardwick Winery. They Every year they sell their um, wines at the Three County Fair um, and they need to get a farmer winery license to sell at agricultural events. Um, and that's happening Labor Day weekend, but the next meeting of the license commission is after Labor Day weekend. So I said that, she said, well, what do I do? And I said, well, I will ask the commission if they are amenable to having a special meeting for this application, um, but there are no guarantees. So I understand it's August, it's the end of the middle, I don't want to say end of summer, it's still summer, but um, <laughs> it's, it. it's totally up to you all what you want to do. When does the Three County Fair start? It's Labor Day weekend, so it's um, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Okay. And our normal meeting is scheduled the seventh. Yes. I'm just reaching for my calendar. I'm here. I'm reaching. She's leaving us already. Look at you. No, no, she's still leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I've returned. <laughs> so could we, if, if, everyone was in agreement to accommodate this, could we bump up the regularly scheduled August, uh, September 7th meeting for an earlier date? Uh, oh. oh, just do the whole meeting, you mean? Interesting. You mean change the meeting date to maybe like August 31st? Yep. Huh. Wow, trailblazer. Uh <laughs> Is, well, is this common? Is this common? I mean, are there several liquor um, hosts at the at the fair? I mean, could other sort of emergency oh, like licenses my, uh, come up? There uh, actually usually are maybe one or two that do this at the fair. Um, yeah, I think Mineral Hills does it. So meaning uh, some other pl places may have forgotten too that they need to, <laughs> like people who haven't put in applications yet. Is that what you mean? That's what I thought. 
Yeah. But just thinking out loud, I, I'm not basing that on anything. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does happen a two or three times a year. Somebody misses mm -hmm. dates and comes asking for a special meeting. And we usually do accommodate if we can, but it would just make more sense, I think, to move the meeting up a week if, if that works. It would. My only hesitation is that I've talked to a few people that are looking to get onto the September 7th agenda and they have bigger applications to yep. where that requires legal notices and a butter's notices. So the timing would be thrown off. And I, yep. I, think, I, think, I, I think I gave them the week of the 22nd as a deadline, but if we move the meeting to the 31st, the week of the 15th would have to be the deadline. Well, yeah, that sounds and disruptive. Unfortunately, I don't remember. That's fine. I don't remember who these, who they were. That is fine. Um, I am not opposed to accommodating this request. They have been doing it for a number of years. Um, and especially if maybe some outreach should be done to make sure that there aren't other vendors who are also going to need to see us just for this, the three county fair. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Um, for Helen and Jennifer, would you guys be willing to have a quick meeting the 31st or at least one of you? <laughs> Yeah, yes, and it, I, doesn't even, it doesn't even have to be the 31st. Oh, okay. So are you, are you saying that you do want to keep, or you do want to change the September meeting to the 31st? No, I, oh, you know what, in my mind, I'm away the 13th through the 27th. So that's what I'm thinking is I'm out of town for those two weeks. Oh, okay. So really I can do any time that last week in August. I just had the 31st cause it was Wednesday in my head. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, coincidentally, I think I'm more free that Wednesday than other Wednesdays. So, I mean, I was going to at first say push it later, but I think I could, if four works for people, I could, mm -hmm. but Annie, are you hesitating? You have that hesitant look. Are you available, <laughs> Annie? On the 31st? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I didn't want it, you to have to be like married to the 31st if if we weren't gonna have the regular meeting that day, I was gonna say we could do it, like it doesn't have to be so close to the next meeting, but yeah, if that, that, that works for me, the only, I, yeah. And if you guys wanna have the meeting without me between the 13th and the 27th, that's fine too, if there's a date that's better. Um, coincidentally, actually the 31st is probably the best date for me in terms of not having to push it later. Um, okay. Jennifer, does that work for you? Yes, the 31st works for me. Okay, do you wanna do four? Do you wanna do 9 a.m.? Do you wanna do, what do you wanna do? Yeah, since I'm not 100% sure if something else will come up, I, I four is probably still better for me. Okay, yeah. great. Same. So Wednesday the 31st at four, it should be no more than five minutes. Got it. Excellent. So I could do it from the kayak then if I have to. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Can we yeah. all go kayaking on that afternoon? Can we have like a, a license commission retreat on the river? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So we'll have a very quick meeting on the 31st at four o'clock. And Annie, you'll just, you'll reach out to the people who need to hear from us just in case. Yes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Great. Um, any other new business? No. Nothing for me. Okay. And then I will make a motion to adjourn. You want to second that? Jen? I second. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. And Everybody. Hold on. Well, I mean, not yet. Okay. Um, Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. All righty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you all.